Well, Binance is one of the major exchanges that allows you to buy, sell, hold and trade cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin uh, and other assets such as Ethereum, EOS, Cardano. There's quite a long list, actually. And you can do this anywhere in the world, including the UK. So talk us through what's happened here with the UK financial regulator. Well, the FCA issued uh, a statement over the weekend, actually, which seems to cause a bit of a, a stir. Uh, I saw a headline this morning that says FCA bans Binance, uh, which is a bit of an exaggeration because it's actually nothing like this at all. What this is is a reminder to Binance.com, which, remember, is an international site with international customers, reminding them not to promote certain assets, or, sorry, certain products here in the UK. Now, we should be clear about this. The products they're referring to are derivatives, and these are more complex instruments that traders can use, they're such as options, futures, those kind of things, uh, they do fall under the FCA regulations. And it doesn't matter actually what the underlying asset is. You have to be FCA regulated to use those. But this is a long-standing edict. This is a reminder. It's not a new policy. So to be clear, if you hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any of those other assets, you are perfectly entitled to carry on holding them. And actually, the FCA is not requiring you to do anything with them. So why is there this pushback from regulators around the world against cryptocurrency platforms? Well, I wouldn't say that I necessarily agree with you that this is happening all around the world. We do have some quite uh, wide uh, ranging events going on here. We do have countries like El Salvador, which, of course, is fully embracing Bitcoin and actually has made it now legal tender. But then we've got countries on the other end of the scale, like China, for example, who are actively trying to discourage use of cryptocurrencies through regulation and um, various other means. So it, this has become, and there's everything in between as well. So it is a complex situation, and you've got to in some ways feel a bit sorry for regulators here because this is a difficult subject. Um, but we do have a precedent. Because, you know, back in the 90s, we had this open source network called the Internet that came along, created all sorts of problems for us with jurisdictions and copyrights. Uh, we were worried about whether terrorists were going to use it for nefarious purposes, that sort of thing. And several decades in, we are still coming to terms with this and still shaping it. And I very much suspect we'll see the same thing with Bitcoin uh, exchanges and other cryptocurrency assets. Is there an underlying message here from the regulators to, to consumers, maybe consumers in the UK in particular? I mean, do, do you think about investing in cryptocurrencies in general? Well, investing in cryptocurrency, like investing in any asset, you must do your own research and you must be, understand carefully what you're, you're getting involved with. But in terms of what the FCA is saying here, it, it really is a non-event. You can still continue to hold your assets, you can still trade, you can still buy as long as you're buying the asset itself which the vast majority of people do anyway. So in, in many ways, it's business as usual. Business as usual, but you feel that this is maybe sowing the seeds for, for future regulation in the same way that the, the World Wide Web is less of a wild west than it was at, at, its, um, at, at the beginning. Yeah, and I think that's a fair point. And actually, many in the industry, actually including myself, would welcome measured common sense regulation here because it would be great for people to have that peace of mind when buying it, trading it, holding it, that there is some kind of regulation behind it. But remember, you can't regulate the asset itself because it's entirely decentralized and there's no successful way to do that. Any attempt to do it will, will simply not work.